Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Empyrean. So we're back and um, yeah, we did some uh, hunting. We were at a, what was this one? Abandoned Outpost, I guess, uh, here. We're just leaving it actually. Um, but uh, yeah, we got some good stuff here. I'm just gonna eat this food for fun. Though I probably should consider eating this fun stuff because uh, it's like, you know, it's it doesn't stack, right? So it's kind of a waste holding on to it. But yeah, let's keep going here. We found an old tower, eh? What's in this old tower? I don't even know where the old tower is. Abandoned old tower. Oh, it's in their side. Sometimes you can find stuff with these lights with the fog right now. It does not help, does it? Sometimes with... Oh gosh. Maybe when we're closer it helps. It doesn't really seem to help at all. Anyways, what I was trying to say is sometimes... Oh, this is this kind of tower? Never mind, I don't think this one will have anything interesting in it. But sometimes if you kill hostels... ...in their land, like spiders and things like that... ...you'll get actual, um, decent, uh, rep with them. So that's why I was, like, wanting to check it out. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get some rep here, but... ...I don't think this thing is anything interesting at all. Let's see what's in it. Wait, did I fail at getting up there again? Oh, there's freaking glass there. Oh, okay. Well, let's walk the tower for fun. I'm guessing there's nothing here. It's probably just the bare bones here. That's if you wanted it, you could salvage it. I don't know if you get in trouble salvaging here. I don't think so, but this is it. It's like a nice like watchtower. I actually kind of like that. We'll call it Makeout Point. This is where the the kids go. <laughs> Yeah, this fog is so brutal right now in the game. It's awesome, it just doesn't make a good uh, Let's Play video right now. <laughs> trying to figure out how to get out here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, let's go back here. i turn this off because it's giving me a bit of a brain headache here. Oh, we're going to go this way actually, sorry. So these guys, yeah, once again, look at these guys. They, the, the Kua is literally their, their world, I guess. Like, there's so many spots here, it's crazy. So there you go, we got all that. There you go, and then there's another set over here, so we're gonna check this one over here. <gasps> it's a little brighter over here, I like it. Oh, barrier chamber. Oh, please that be in their territory. I think it is. Yes. This is a good POI to do. This has like lots of stuff in here too. Here, can you see it? <laughs> well, it shouldn't be too bad when we're going inside though. Are we connected? We are connected. Good. So harvest container. Perfect. Okay. So this one, I think you can, yeah, you can get away with my, uh, grabbing these, which I will on my way out. But this is a fun POI because there's spiders and stuff in here. And this is a great way to make friends with the locals because it'll probably make them happy. There are missions you can get with them too. I forget how I did that before. Um, I don't know if you go to their NPC and ask for missions or if it was possibly in here. I don't remember, but... Probably the other way around, like you go to them, yeah. There's a fishing thing in here. That's all right. I wish I remember how to do those, to be fair. Oh, can be unlocked by becoming friend. So maybe once you do that, you can, whatever. One day we'll look into that. So yeah, there is sometimes spiders in here. And scorpions and other gross stuff. What is it, the tame version? Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, there we go. I did not expect them to be so tough there. 
Yeah, so 32 to their clan. Yeah, now we're talking. Broke them all down there. We'll get some meat out of this, too. I'd say good meat, but eh, not really, because, like, we've learned you get insane amount of meat from those big dudes anyways. Even their babies give tons of insane meat. Let's see if we can shoot them down here. Oh, there's a container in there. I just want to... You got to be careful because there's so many spiders here. You want to make sure you get the good spot here for them. So I think we're good right now. Oh, yeah. There's some loot here. So we want to put this on the... There you go. Maybe we can do some sniping. Oh, it's hitting whatever that is in the way. I was hoping he, he'd get in the way, but show his head, but we'll do it this way. We'll do it the difficult way. Oh, those guys are nasty. Yeah, that's in the way though. Think we got them? Yeah. They, I think, can spit at you or something, so you gotta be careful with them. Oh gosh, our baby ones. Come on. Some of these smaller ones, hitboxes are a little on the pain side, but. I'm not really collecting these for meat or anything either. It's like, we got lots of meat to be fair and meat's easy, but it's about the alien parts that help you for med kits and other things later on. So it's kind of worth grabbing them because it's really useful to be fair, so. And these guys usually have good loot here too. You can grab. A lot of this will require refrigerators, I guess. Some of it, yeah, this does. Lots of random things anyways that can be useful. We throw them in our fridge. Seeds, that's always great too. Great way to get a bunch of different seeds actually. Forgot about that. Probably one of the best ways to get seeds actually. It's like, how do you forget about something that important? Did I grab you guys? I guess I did. Okay, so we'll keep going here. There you go. This one had a little door thing in the way. I was going to say, I think there's something around here. <laughs> nice try. Somebody likes to play dirty and have those jump on you. Oh crap. Let's see if I can do it like that. Did I do it then? I guess I did, yeah. That, all, that loot, the full loot thing is pretty fast actually, so. I'll have to soon organize my... Because I don't want to like have the food stuff go bad, you know. Looking good, looking good. Looks like we got more company here. Guess we're doing it the hard way here, huh? Wonder if I can snipe them from here. Just so rude. We got him though, so that's good.
I need like grenades in this game, so I can just throw a thing of grenades and take them all out in one, one shot. The only downside in a game like this is unless you make them somehow expensive or heavy or something, people would just run around with, you know, just grenades and throwing them around every corner. <laughs> Ooh, a nice container. Ooh, those are really good. Look at that. It was like enough fuel to get around for quite a wee bit there, too. Okay. I feel like there's... Oh, yeah, there's a thing under here. If you break this open... Oh, this one? Oh, there it is. It was just derpy. Yeah, we don't need... Well, we can take this. This is for a quest, but I don't, I'm not doing that quest right now, so... You have a quest that actually sends you here to pick up the sealed crate, so... There's multiples of it if you're doing... You know, have friends and things like that, so that's that makes sense. I wonder if originally they only had one and then it was like, oops, we better add more. <laughs> okay, so let's put all this over here for now. There we go. And then let's do the fridge over here and let's start moving perish time items over here. We don't need to put these here to be fair, so let's move these over here. Well, let's just put the perish time items here. So anything with a perish time, I think all this would have a perish time. You don't even though I always thought sometimes you did. And the meat. Okay, I think we got all the perish time items. We just hate wasting stuff, right? But yeah. So yeah, back to there. Perfect. Okay, so let's keep going here. So this doesn't end here. There's more to go through here. I just got to remember where the heck it is. Not here. It's not there. I mean, I thought there was more to this. Is this the end for this one? There's another area, but I thought there was more in here, but maybe not. Unless you, you're supposed to like drill through here, but like even then you barely can fit through there. So yeah, let's just assume that's it for here, but I'll show you where else you can go. So there's the core, by the way. I don't know if you can take this core out or not. I can't tell, but some cores can't be taken out, so this might be one of them, but I don't know. Usually they tell you, but I think this core can't be taken out. So when you run back, you're like, well, I have to find a way back, right? But we can't get all the way back there. And this is because we're supposed to go up here now. There's a whole other system here, more loot. In fact, there's even more loot, I think, here. We're just going to hold back here. Or everything we want. I know your little buggers are somewhere here. Even I don't know where I'm going here. It's really that dark here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Sorry, we were doing something wrong here. Here you go. Oh, there you go. I didn't want to hit the stew there. It'll break it. I want, I want my stew. Go. There you go. Okay. Um, oh, what's with the weather today? It's like, okay, now we have some crazy weather. Now, there used to be a further down, but maybe there isn't on here. Interesting. I think that was the different one that I'm thinking of. So this one doesn't have the one... I hear more of the guys, but it might have been just the one that ran away from us. Yeah, I guess this one might not have the... As complex one as I thought it did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. We made the wrong turn. Okay. So we, we cleared the exit at least for ourselves, but this is the one I was looking for. 
This is this has some loot containers down here, so. And they're they're everywhere by this way, spiders, so be careful. Do to do, there we go. There's another burial chamber. It might be called something else, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a little different reconfiguration. And there's a pit of spiders that are crazy. There's like four loot containers down the bottom middle or something. It's pretty cool, but it gets a little messy. They're all jammed up on each other. This is when you win. They're not. This is not AI broker. This is just AI being silly. Okay, you see the guy moving. So. There you go. These guys are a little buried in the ground. <laughs> that usually doesn't happen. There you go. Okay, we're gonna start getting some containers here. Can I reload? No. Always reload before you start looting, so if something pops up, you can kind of run away, you know? So there should be one here. There you go. Cool turret, cool. And there's definitely another one somewhere, too. There was one, none in here, right? No. It's already looted you guys fully. There should be one more over here. Actually, there might be two more, to be fair. Wasn't there like a hidden one over here? Maybe not. It's been a while. Oh. There has to be an oh, there it is. It's like there has to be another one, because I always thought there was one for more. But it is hidden right here. Look at all that. Nice. Oh, look at this. We're having uh issues here. So let's let's get some of this stuff put over here now. See, this is where things, you know, start to take up a lot of space here, so. There you go. Let's do that, and then let's take this to fridge and throw you all in there. There you go. And then we can put you guys in there. Perfect. We got lots of, you know, volume space, but we don't have a lot of actual slot space in here right now, so. Um, but yeah, no, that's good. And that is all she wrote. That's we're, we're good. We're done. So we can work our way out of here. That was this way. <laughs> we already cleared the path here. Don't get lost like I did last time. I think we're doing good now. Oh, yeah, we're doing good. Did I open this, by the way? Yeah, there's usually a stew or something in there. And then you just fall through the floor. And then you run out and run out. And just run out again. And then you're out. And then there is some more loot here you can grab. I should put that in the thing, but whatever. Yeah. Dude, I'm just going to put it here for a second because I'm going to open up the other thing in a minute anyways. There you go. And now what we're going to do... Be careful. There might be spiders here. I forget. I think that's the other one with the other towers and stuff. But, uh, okay, so what we can do now here is go back to the fridge, dump this in here, and then what we're going to do is open the fridge up as our link here, and then we're just going to go to town on all this. So these are berries and fruits and stuff like this. This is great for food making and things like that. Now, we only have a certain amount of inventory, so it's not like we can carry all these probably. It's going to probably you know, yell at us. But we can try. It's a great way to get all these, so I like it. They go right around, by the way. Look at the gap on this one. Done that, and there's more here. We missed lots. I didn't realize it could hold so much, so I thought, oh, we're not going to be able to get all that in the thing, but apparently it keeps going. This is going to my inventory, not telling me. Could be doing that. 
Okay. So, yeah, if we do have four here. Oh, yeah. It is full. But not as bad as I thought it would be. So, you can get, like, the meat out of there if you want. I mean, I don't care about me it's easy to come by but this stuff not so much so i could do that and then put that in there there you go just eating that one bowl of food you know is enough to crank that cool so that's that's awesome what about the stimulants they do have perish time i thought so very cool and there we have it so that was a good one i like that a lot here we go in the darkness again i guess we're gonna just do dark flying just because the storm, the fog, it's just killing my, with my lights right now, so. You do what you gotta do. There's just more ores, might as well discover them. Crank this up faster, there you go. It's only half the speed. That would be useless. Yes, I wanna discover, this is a big planet, right? So I wanna discover more, check this out. Ooh, that looks like legacy stuff over there. Be fun to check that out. There's more of it too here. This is where you're gonna find like Prometheum, maybe a wee bit of gold, things like that. Now there's auto miners and they work okay, but they're they don't work on gold. I just want to let you know that gold is a rare commodity. Okay, let's let's get the gold cuz the gold is very valuable. Crap. I feel like you weren't the one actually doing that to me though. Oh, here you go. Legacy stuff. There you go, okay. That's it, that's all she wrote. There's literally like no gold. <laughs> Uh, but it's enough to get you started. I mean, I don't I can't complain about it I'm just saying, you know, you don't expect to get much which well, you didn't um, But uh, yeah, let's look at this. Let's do some stuff into our Because this stuff here we can get some more room if we consume some of this up, right? So we can, Let's just do that now Flamethrower. I don't know if we can make your own flamethrower. They're very evil devices. I must say do, 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 do. So, what else here? Okay, I get these guys and grab these guys. Good start here. So, yes, these guys are already spoken for now. Probably that laser or whatever helped with that. So, we're filling some of this in, which is pretty cool. So, okay, and then this thing, this is evil. Evil tower thing. I think this one has... Cre oh, yeah. Didn't we do something like this? Oh, yeah. Here's the loot here, though. So we're just going to go like this and just bypass everything. Oh, crap. Not quite what I meant by bypassing everything. There you go. Ta-da! So we can go, like, and put this on here, at least. Ta-da! <laughs> I mean, they spawn too if you get close enough here, I guess. It's like, this is what people do. And if you think this is cheap or anything, it actually is not even close to being cheap. Wait, is that the core? I always wonder where the core was. Damn, that's the core. I always wondered where it was. Um, but yeah, so no, that's actually a tactic. In fact, uh, in Empyrean, people make HVs. Some of the outposts are so big. They make HVs that are small enough to go down the corridors and stuff. And the HV is what's actually doing, like, the work for them. It's kind of cool, so. Old tank station. This is not the one that's the underground tank, I don't think. So this is not the one that we 
had all that cool loot from, I don't think. No, this is the boring one. No offense to it. Okay. Uh, we'll just keep going here, I guess. There was another one of them. Oh, here, here we go. I wanted to get it, too, to be fair. Is there more gold on here? No, there's just one piece of gold. So these are all going to be probably Prometheum, I'm guessing. Prometheum. Yeah, in the alien stuff, you get a lot of Prometheum. Yeah. That's why it's important to have a ship like this, because you don't want to be going out and mining this, because this is bad stuff, so... There you go, got another one. There you go. Cool. And then we can destroy the core. The reason I like destroying the core is if a newbie comes by, they can get some of the parts, which is nice. But it's also polite because it lets them know that, hey, this has already been done. So they're not as disappointed. But I actually didn't know where the core is. I saw it there with a little bread. I just happened to see it. But I didn't know where it was before, so I never even attempted to salvage anything on there on the other planet. And that's kind of like, you know, okay, well now I know that. That's cool. And now I'm helping somebody else. Hopefully they'll they'll it'll be breaking up and they can take it apart. They won't know where the core is, but <laughs> And don't forget, we talked about, I think it was last time, I said we're going to do a regen every Monday. Or sorry, every Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Ah, Barrier Chamber here. So this is the same one we just did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the one that's more unique. So there's another Barrel Chamber if you want to do it. Maybe I'll add a waypoint here so I can remember this. Something I can do offline, right? Because um, they are fun to do, to be honest. It's not in oh, it's not in their territory, so meh, maybe I won't do it. I just wanted to do it because of the rep. We're slowly building up that rep with them there, so yeah. Oh yeah, these guys are pretty much even now. This, these guys, I had a lot more on them to begin with, so that's that's really cool. So we got you. We got more radar, but we got some heat signature ones coming up here, so. Oh, damaged dart. So this is a, a little SV that you can fix up and get working if you want. There you go. It's not too hard to fix it up. I think you can pretty much... I don't know, is it runnable now, or it might need like a fuel tank or something, and one of the thrusters on the sides missing or something like that. It's not a hard one to repair, to be fair, so. Um, is there none of the naughty guys here? Oh, there's a huge crap we haven't even visited. Let's go north then, for fun. Uh, yeah, these guys first. And I have a habit of exploring planets in detail. I just love it. <laughs> it's just fun. You get to explore, check things out, see what there is, you know, learn it. It's not like I have to do it. It's just, it's just enjoy doing it. It's like mining in a sense for me. This game has that ability where you can spend hours and hours and hours exploring. Oops, I was trying to see if it was reloaded and then I went back to the thing, but it's like, yeah, you weren't quite there yet. Okay. So we're just going to go west, I guess, or, well, I mean, this is the dark side, which is kind of meh, but it's the part that is dark. So why waste time going the one way where we have gone over here yet? The Xerax have to, there you go. I was going to say, the Xerax has to exist somewhere on this planet. Oh, yeah. I would say they exist now. Gotta get pretty close with these guys, though. 
500 ish. Don't get closer than that. On this, it's pretty safe. On a moon, not so much. They have bigger range, but they won't be able to pump more than maybe 200, I'm guessing, meters. Yeah, these Xerox were well hidden, though. I was like starting to wonder if there was even Xerox. I want to explore these guys because it's fun. If I had some shielding or something, I'd run right through them, basically cut through it and be like, yeah, I don't care. Cause I'd, be, I'd feel pretty safe, to be fair. Does this look like the lights there? Oh, yeah. It's a little blinding. There's night vision goggles, but I'm assuming they're just as horrible as they were before, which are really not nice. I always avoid them, basically. The Temple of Blah Blah Blah. Oh, this is kind of cool. A safe area, I think. It's another, it's a very short POI. I shouldn't turn this off. These guys might be hostile. I forget. Oh. It's not like I want to find out, but oh yeah. This guy's going out at me. It's like, are these guys hostile? I'm like, I'm not sure. And then they start smacking the crap out of me. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go with a yes on that. They have range. Go for the range guys first. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that one guy had range or not. It looked like he did, but... These guys are like uh, like a separate faction from the Tello. Tello and whatever, guys. Um, they're like a naughty faction. They're terrorists, I think, or something like that. Or I'm not quite sure, but... They're not good guys, anyways. I'll probably head back home after this one anyway, so maybe I'll loot this, because it'll probably last long enough, maybe. Now, I should have done this on my way out, to be fair, but whatever. If we started now, let's do it stupidly. Yeah, let's do... I want to put those in my inventory, I think. But yeah. Oh yeah, now you're having that issue. So I was like, let's just dump some of these lighter items in my inventory. And that way they have a, a chance to survive here. Because I can hold a bit. Don't need freaking that. or Oh, that's a lot of it. I'll keep it. <laughs> it's like, I don't need that. It's like, eh. Another stew here to eat. Okay, probably didn't even get these. I was gonna say, yeah, I don't think I got those. Okay. Let's go inside and see what we got. Like I guess I don't think this is a big one. There's a lock or something on this, so I think. Is this the one that had the combo lock? And if you don't do it properly, it blows up. Oh yeah, okay. So there's, I think something downstairs. Paint. There you go. I think that's where it is. There, I think there's a, there's more to it. Or maybe it's the way they say it. I don't remember. Yeah, we'll leave it for now and come back on the way. We have to come back up, right? So. 
Not today. Only downside is good luck trying to loot all of them. Yeah, I ain't gonna happen. Oh, I got another one, so that's cool. We'll call that a win. A little quieter than I expected. Oh crap. Oh crap. Give that back. Sometimes I disable the key Q key because like literally when you're stupid and you throw your weapon out of your inventory. I guess that's a you know like a jump scare where literally I threw my weapon out of my inventory. <laughs> Let's just keep going here. I want to loot this, but I know my inventory is just shot here. I guess my own inventory has a max too, probably. But what you could do is put this one here and ammunition controller and put smaller stuff in here and use it for more little things. That's pretty heavy usually, yeah. It's not like I need to keep that to be fair. Oh, these are heavy too. Yeah, just finding stuff that might be. That's gold. <laughs> uh, oh, I want the whole thing or none. I don't need to do little one. This is, uh, these can go in my inventory to be fair, so. There you go. That should help, anyways. Okay, let's keep going here. Might as well grab these guys too. This is why it's not just about having storage containers on your ship, but like unique amounts. So like, you know, somebody might add like just random like normal containers on. You might be like, why are you doing that? And honestly, this is a perfect example why you would do that. Yeah, it keeps going here, by the way. We're not done. There should be guys, I think, in here. Or is it just these guys? I thought there was normal dudes too somewhere, but. By the way, those are always derpy like that. They always stack up and they always are done. Which works in my favor because we were able to easily do that. There you go. And there you go again. Nice. Go. And there you go. Now, I don't know if we can break this or not. I don't know what kind of core this is. It's exposed, but. Oh, yeah, you can break it. Boom. There we go. But because they use candlelight here, you can uh, still see. Not bright enough, but. <laughs> cool, so I'm just gonna finish picking this up and then I'm just gonna go home and empty this. So that's it for this episode, honestly. I might do a little, you know, off camera, just do a little quick pass, but I'm not really worried. Now, I didn't see anything that would help us with this, but now that we've taken out the core, we should be able to do this safely. So there's treasure and yeah, right there. I was gonna say, it's not too far. And then if you do the wrong thing, I think it might try blowing up the treasure or something. So that's why you obviously wanna be careful with that. I guess this is just all part of it anyway, so cool. Yeah, no, I think that's good then. I'm happy with that. There we go. And there's our escape. Very freaking cool. So 
Yeah, we got yeah, we got most of this to be fair. It's just a little messy. Yeah, that's cool. Let's ever see like a big group of something. I'm just gonna get out of here, so yeah, so thank you so much, my friends, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.